God blimey, little ones. What we're going to be learning about today is famous Victorian gents and ladies. Believe you me, there's loads of them. So we'll start with probably the most famous Victorian of all, Queen Victoria. So she was born in 1819 in London. She became queen when she was 18 years of age. And she married her handsome cousin, Albert, who was a prince from Germany. She proposed to him, which was very, very unusual in the Victorian age, because it wasn't seen as proper for ladies to behave in that way. Albert didn't speak English very well, and lots of people didn't like him. Queen Victoria, though, was besotted with Albert, and they were very happily married for 21 years during which time they had nine children. At the time, Victoria's reign as Queen was the longest in British history, from 1837 to 1901, some 64 years. Our Queen, our current Queen, Queen Elizabeth, she has been on the throne, or she will have been on the throne, for 71 years in September, because she became Queen in 1965. So Queen Victoria lived for 81 years, which in the Victorian age was very unusual. Um, because life expectancy was a lot shorter than it is today. Another very famous Victorian was Dr. Joseph Lister. And he, believe it or not, was the first one really who realised that it was really important to keep wounds and equipment clean and germ-free during operations. Before the Victorian age, they didn't really understand about germs and they certainly didn't recognise the need to keep everything clean and the infections that it could cause from either the surgeon's dirty clothes or dirty hands or the dirty tools that they were using to perform the operations. Underneath this clip, um, I've included a, clip, a short clip about Dr Lister and another famous doctor from the Victorian age, Dr Simpson. Another famous Victorian was the author Lewis Carroll, and his most famous piece of work was probably Alice in Wonderland. In our dining room downstairs, painted on the wall, that they are characters from Alice in Wonderland. So the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat and Alice, they're all characters from this book. Another famous Victorian was Alexander Graham Bell, who you may have heard of, and he has been credited with the invention of the telephone. Another famous Victorian was Isambard Kingdom Brunel, and he was an engineer who specialised in railway traction, so basically uh, they worked out that trains run best on flat ground. They're not very good at climbing hills, so when they would lay train track from town to town and city to city, they would try and choose the flattest route. In order to achieve this, sometimes they would build massive tunnels, or even a viaduct where the train would cross over like a valley or a big dip in the land. And Isambard Kingdom Brunel was an engineer who specialised in that type of thing. He also invented steamships and made steamships and um, was credited with the invention of the propeller. Before then, the ship steamships would use paddle wheels to move. And he also made some famous bridges. I've also included a short clip below, again, uh, this one on the portal um, that will teach you more about Isambard Kingdom Brunel because he really was quite an amazing man. Another very famous Victorian, particularly in America as well as over here because Thomas Edison was American, uh, he was an inventor who had literally over a thousand inventions which transformed life in the late 19th century and still have a big impact on how we lead our lives today. Uh, one of his most famous inventions was uh, the modern day light bulb. Uh, another really famous invention was um, the automatic telegraph. So before telephones you may have heard of Morse code. So this was invented by Samuel Morse and it was a way of communicating over long distances down uh, wires, so like phone lines, through a series of dots and dashes and these would spell out letters which somebody could listen to and then write down the word or the word and then words that were being communicated. So obviously the messages wouldn't be very long because otherwise it would take somebody an awfully long time 
um, to write them down. So you may have seen it. So it would be a little button that somebody would press and, and it would give out a series of electronic dots and dashes depending whether you pressed it and held it down. And obviously at the time then, so you needed somebody there at the, to listen to the message and write it down. But Edison developed uh, something that basically was a bit like an, uh, an automatic typewriter. So this machine would automatically record the dots and the dashes on uh, long strips of paper, ticker tape. So once the message had come through, somebody could tear off the ticker tape and then they could write down what the message said rather than having to listen to it at the time. He also invented um, the first kind of movie camera and viewer. Uh, so he invented an awful lot of things. So he's a very interesting person as well to look at. And finally, amongst my famous Victorians, admittedly I have missed off loads and loads of famous Victorians, but obviously I would like you to research some famous Victorians yourself and choose somebody, um, is Florence Nightingale, who you've all heard of, and I think you um, did work on her last year in Mrs. Park Litchin's class. So she was famous for being a nurse, and she was the pioneer of the thoughts behind modern nursing and medicine. That basically meant her ideas are ones that um, led the way to how we perceive the nurse's role and how hospitals are run. So she saw the importance of nutritious food for people that were wounded or sick or injured, um, the importance of hygiene, keeping the hospitals clean, keeping the patients comfortable. Before then, um, as you're probably aware, it was not seen as important to do that at all. Another famous nurse from the Crimean War is Mary Seacole. And again, she had a very interesting life and is somebody that is very worth looking up. So what I would like you to do now is to watch the two short clips that I've included on the portal page. And then I would like you to research a famous person from the Victorian age. You can use somebody that I have mentioned here, that is absolutely fine, or you can look up somebody else. Uh, as I said, there's lots and lots of famous Victorian people and quite an amazing period of history. So what I would like you to do is you need to write, draw a picture of the person. Uh, if they're famous for doing an invention, draw a picture of them with their invention. Uh, in your bit, you need to mention when they were born, when they died, why the person was famous and why you chose to write about them in your account. When you have done that, I would like them, the work photographed and emailed to me so I can have a look at it. I always enjoy looking at um, this because sometimes I still find out things I personally did not know about different famous Victorian people. Because as I said, there are lots of them. I hope you enjoy doing your research and I look forward to seeing your work.